Hello everyone, uh, this time we will discuss an overview of psychological testing and assessment. So we will learn about different types of psychological tests and tools at different settings. That is for testing, for clinical, educational, industrial, and organizational levels and the like. Let us point out the difference between personality, projective test, intelligence test, as well as neuropsychological test. Let us first discuss some of the personality tests. Now, personality test is a tool to assess human personality. Now, there are two major types of personality tests. We have the self-report inventories, or what we call the objective test, and also we have the projective test. Now, self-report inventories include okay, questions that are being rated by test takers. An example of this, we have the MMPI or the Minnesota uh, Multi-Basic uh, Basic Personality Inventory. We also have PPI or what we call the Basic Personality Inventory. Okay, take note of this. PPI is uh, widely used in uh, recruitment agencies, of course, those um, testing uh, centers who tend to uh, measure okay the personality uh, types or personality characteristics of uh, applicants for uh, overseas work now this is um, recommended by the department of health uh, which is why it is uh, should be known by uh, students like um, students of psychology because you have to um, be knowledgeable about this uh, personality inventory. We also have 16PF, okay, aligning with uh, BPI. 16PF is also used um, among clinics and uh, practice of uh, personality assessment in uh, industrial clinics and the like. So we will uh, dis be discussing some of these um, tests, specifically their uh, psychometric uh, properties, the validity, reliability, as well as the utility of these examinations, okay? So let us have some glimpse or uh, let us have some idea on what are the factors being measured by this um, personality test. We have the MMPI, okay? So we are trying to discuss uh, some of the factors here. We have the MMPI, the MMPI, Andreasis, depression, hysteria, psychopathic deviance, masculinity and femininity, as well as paranoia, psychasthenia, schizophrenia, hypomania, social introversion. Okay, and in BPI, we tend to um, discover some personality factors such as depression, anxiety, social introversion, self depreciation. Uh, interpersonal uh, problems as well as impulsive expression and deviation, hypochondriasis, persecutory ideas, as well as thinking disorder. Now, these uh, personality factors are um, composed of different items which are called the um, indicators or uh, items which tend to describe these factors okay the same goes with 16 pf or the 16 personality factors okay we have this uh, warmth reasoning emotional stability dominance uh, liveliness good consciousness social boldness sensitivity vigilance abstractedness uh, privateness apprehension openness to change self-reliance perfectionism uh, perfectionism tension okay so these are the 16 factors and um Later on, the test developer um, found out five global skills. Okay, we have extroversion, anxiety, neuroticism, top mindedness, independence, as well as self control. Now, if you're going to be assigned uh, to conduct a uh, test development in the near future, you will be uh, asked what are the factors uh, that you want to measure for a psychological test that you want to develop, then you, you may have an idea what are the factors that you want or you supposed to measure. So, for an instance, you want to create these uh, 16 personality factors, you may uh, rely on these uh, factors already by uh, this examination, or you may consider the five global skills, or you may also uh, consider the uh, big five of the neo 
okay for the neuroticism extra version open this uh, personality inventory revised version we have the neuroticism of course th there are several characteristics of a person who is uh, characterized by uh, neuroticism you have anxiety anger hostility depression self-consciousness impulsivity vulnerability okay this is a uh, this is only one factor but different uh, characteristics we have anxiety so on and so forth and when it comes to the factor extraversion the same goes with it okay we have more regardlessness ex assertiveness activity excitement seeking as well as positive emotion the same goes with other factors such as openness agreeableness and conscientiousness so you may um, proposed a test which are uh, which is in line with these uh, characteristics okay okay so aside from the objective test we also have the self report inventories we also have the projective personality tests which are tools for assessment of personality characteristics okay being handled by trained and licensed professionals only or professional psychologists specializing projective tests okay projective tests are mostly the type of personality tests which we include uh, the following we have the test uh, the thematic of perception test the draw a person test how three house three person test hand test sentence completion as well as zombie test okay we will not go into details of these uh, projected tests but we will have a uh, idea okay on what are the characteristics of these personality tests we have the ink blood test okay so as you can see these are um, okay ink bloods which uh, do not really have the um, meaning on their own but uh, of course uh, with the response of the client or the response of the patient it uh, we may uh, draw some uh, insight on what are their uh, unconscious uh, tells something about them or tells something about their issues okay so, so for us to answer the um, referral question we also have the thematic uh, perception test by Henry Murray and uh, Christiana Morgan okay as well as the DAP test or draw person test so we, we may also consider um, this type of test wherein we may uh, use um, the test manual on interpreting a specific uh, strokes specific uh, lines which are being used by a client okay as well as the house three person test and the hand test as well as the sentence completion test as you can see right here um the projected test tend to measure those uh, characteristics that cannot be uh, drawn or cannot be uh, determined by objective tests basically um, projected tests will try to assess the unconscious motives or, or unconscious uh, issues of the test taker okay now we also have a zombie test okay so let's proceed with intelligence test another type of test is this intelligence test we can also refer this as the iq test this type of assessment tool tends to measure a range of persons cognitive abilities now the results of these tests provide us um, more insight about the person's intellectual uh, potentials as well as abilities now intelligence tests are commonly used types of uh, psychological tests in terms of educational setting as well as industrial and organizational and even in clinical settings now there are several tools to consider as you can see right here we have standard mini uh, universal nonverbal intelligence and differential ability skills okay body individual achievement test Wexler Individual Achievement Test, Wexler Adult Intelligence uh, Scale. As you can see, um, there may be uh, some variations on what intelligence test we may uh, employ or we may uh, use depending on the needs or depending on the age or depending on the 
target um, respondent or uh, client that we will um, be catering. Okay, we also have the Woodcock Johnson's um, test, okay, of cognitive disability. Okay, now there are, uh, again, uh, some tests are only applicable depending on its use. Uh, some tests may be applicable for, uh, for children and adolescents. Uh, some may, may uh, be designed for young adults and to adults only, or some may tend to consider non-verbal test to be identified so it will be used as uh, sometimes it can be considered as culture fair test okay most likely uh, this intelligence test um, okay try to measure person's cognitive abilities so he can be uh, placed into certain program for example so um, in a university just like during your uh, application for college or application in the university you will be taking admission examinations okay or in a clinical setting a trained okay and licensed psychologist might give you a set of intelligence assessments for a specific diagnosis to answer the referral question okay maybe that the uh, specialist might look okay into uh, some of the intellectual disability of that person or uh, not just in school and clinical setting we also use an intelligence test uh, to assess a candidate for a job okay in io setting to measure his intellectual abilities to solve job related problems or the general knowledge of that person in terms of mathematics reading comprehension as well as um, the reasoning ability his speed in answering the question, as well as visual, spatial, uh, uh, visual, spatial uh, processing, as well as his, his memory, and the like, okay? Now, we have talked about the general characteristics of the personality test, intelligence test, and now let us discuss neuropsychological test. Neuropsychological test is different with uh, personality as well as intelligence test, wherein, um, it is designed to measure a uh, person's specific brain functioning. So this is based on uh, the structure of the specific parts of your brain or the anatomy and of course their normal functioning or the physiological aspect of it. Now, these functioning may include um, basic senses and it may include the measurement of other abilities such as your reading ability, your learning as well as your attention, your reasoning, uh, remembering, or the memory, as well as uh, the problem solving skills that you have, as well as the uh, personality and mood. Unlike intelligence tests and personality tests, the neuropsychological tests are based on the assumption, okay, that uh, if there are certain tasks that uh, the test taker may not successfully uh, done or um, there are might there might be some uh, organic problems with the physical structure of the brain so this might be a possibility and just like personality intelligence test right the results of the neuropsychological test uh, or can be also a basis for answering the referral question and may also be a basis of the uh, position for diagnosing particular um, organic disorder that is also of course with the help of a um, series of testing or the battery of assessment uh, as we have called it and with also with the guidance and uh, of the international classification of disease or the ICD and uh, or the diagnostic statistical manual or what we call the DSM Again, in clinical setting, the only professional uh, allowed to diagnose a specific disease based on evidences and battery of assessment is the physician only, not the psychometrician and not even the psychologist. Okay, so psychometrician and psychologist uh, may help in administering the set of tests, okay, of course, with the proper training depending on what level of test 
uh, we will be administering. So uh, we will be discussing this uh, later on. Now, what are the differences between uh, the psychological test and psychological assessment? As you can see right here, um, we have discussed the overview of different tests which can be used in educational uh, setting, clinical setting, industrial and organizational, and most of them are uh, being administered not just by simply giving only one test, okay, to decide a certain or to decide into a certain problem, be it in placing a student in certain program in a university, for example, or an applicant for a certain job, for instance, or creating a clinical impression, for example, of a person to answer a referral question. Okay, we are not using only one test. So this test, uh, this set of testing has to deal with the testing and assessment. Let us define the differences between them. Now, test is a given task to an individual to really measure uh, the, the specific intelligence, for, ex for example, or what are the personality characteristics of that person or the neuropsychological functioning of that person. On the other hand, assessment is a process in which the testing is just part of it. Okay, as you can see right here in our uh, picture right here, test is just part of psychological assessment. Okay, so psychological assessment may be uh, uh, may be uh, divided into two parts. We have those uh, which can be measured in a test may be included and there are also um, types of psychological assessment or tools which cannot be um, uh, measured such as the interviews behavioral observations and other checklists we may consider okay again in, uh, okay so as you can see right here, there are objectives in terms of testing and assessment. So the main objective of uh, testing is to uh, obtain, engage the numerical nature of the, uh, the test that you have administered. For instance, you will be asking, you will be asked to, um, to administer a personality test, and then eventually you will gather raw. The raw data and then this data will be interpreted later on based on the standardized uh, procedures or standardized um, what we call this or standardized yes okay standardized scoring all right so in, in terms of assessment typically is to answer the referral question and solve the problem or uh, arrive at a decision through the use of a tool of tools of evaluation okay now we also have the process uh, difference between testing and uh, assessment in terms of the testing testing may be uh, individualized or in a group uh, setting and of course after a test administration the uh, test uh, okay the test uh, administrator uh, will typically add up number or correct answer and uh, number on certain types of uh, responses with little if any regard to the mechanics such, uh, such as the content so basically there is a, a standard scoring for this one and in terms of assessment typically uh, individualized in contrast to testing and assessment. For example, you will be preparing a psychological uh, test report or psychological report. You will be answering the, uh, what you call this, the referral question and then it is more specific to that person that you want to answer the question, okay? In terms of role of evaluator, the tester is uh, not the key to the process, practically speaking, okay? One tester may be uh, substituted for another tester without uh, crucially affect the evaluation. Basically, there is a standardized procedure that we may follow, unlike uh, the assessment. So the assessment, uh, the assessor is the key process on selecting the test and other tools of evaluation. So basically, if you want to answer the referral question, or referral questions, okay, 
you have to really identify what are the tools that you have that you will be using in terms to uh, to conclude or to arrive in the answer to answer this referral question okay so what are the skills of the evaluator busy in testing um, typically requires uh, requires a technician like the skills okay if you are a psychometrician you will be have this ability of um, identifying the validity uh, validity scales as well as the validity validity, uh, const, uh, validity constructs of your the test as well as the reliability uh, structure of your test okay or this uh, reliability properties of your test okay and then in terms of assessment typically it requires uh, educated okay selection of uh, tools and evaluation skill and evaluation and thoughtful organization and the creation of data you will be organizing your uh, report the psychological report that you have as well as the uh, tools that you will be using you will be mindful of that okay and of course in testing the outcome is typically testing yields test score or series of test scores unlike in assessment typically assessment uh, entails logical problem solving approach that brings to bear the resources and data designed to shed light on referral questions basically testing is just uh, targeting only um, okay uh, using test only specific to the uh, uh, knowledge only basically you will be knowledgeable about the personality you will be knowledgeable about the intelligence only but in terms of assessment, you will be combining all the results of these tests so you can come up with the answering your uh, okay, uh, repellent question. Okay. Now, in the next video, we will be discussing the tools of psychological assessment aside from the test that we have discussed. Okay. So, we will be seeing you in the next video.